Welcome to the Claim Your Future Showcase. Just by being here, you're one step closer to claiming your future. This is the Business Development Board's seventh year hosting this event. As the official economic development organization for Palm Beach County, on a daily basis, we're recruiting companies from places like California, New York, and Europe to open offices in Palm Beach County so that you continue to have endless opportunities right here at your fingertips. My name is Kristen Boyd, and just like you, I studied local. I took advantage of the opportunities right here in our backyard, and eventually, I became a vice president in my 20s. I really hope you leave this event inspired and excited for what's yet to come. You can do anything. And today, we have five panelists from different industries who are going to share with you just how you can achieve this. To start, I'll leave you with this. Palm Beach County is home to 15 hospitals full of healthcare employees who are on the front lines of keeping us safe as the nation combats COVID-19. Mason Beal is one of those heroes. He started out in the military and is now a nurse manager at JFK Medical Center. JFK Medical Center is an acute care medical and surgical facility providing communities we serve with high quality advanced healthcare services. Uh, serving Palm Beach County for more than 52 years, we have evolved into a multi-campus medical center with four locations throughout the county. As far as me, after serving honorably in the Marines, I wanted to search for a career that would provide endless uh, opportunities with confident job security. Um, after viewing many options, the choice was clear. I had to become a nurse. Um, after a couple of years of nursing, I decided to pack everything up and uh, move into our RV, my RV and uh, hit the road as a travel nurse. Uh, as a travel nurse, I was able to see places and experience nursing from many different perspectives and parts of the country. My travel nursing came to an end when I found JFK Medical Center. I knew this was my new home as soon as I arrived. I'm the nurse manager for the COVID units at JFK main campus, fighting every day alongside our frontline heroes. Uh, everyone is familiar with the work of doctors and nurses, uh, but there are many other kind of kinds of healthcare practitioners who make a difference every day uh, to the patients as well. Uh, some of these options are nursing assistant, uh, res respiratory therapy, physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech therapist, unit secretaries, radiology technologists, patient transporters, dietitians, pharmacy technicians, and many, many more. Uh, we believe uh, excellent people make excellence happen. This sounds like a type of meaningful work you'd like to be a part of. We hope you consider our, our careers here at JFK Medical Center. Uh, the healthcare field is full of exciting opportunities for people of all education levels and abilities. Uh, to prepare for the rigorous coursework of a nursing degree program, uh, prospective nurses should take plenty of science math, and mathematics classes while in high school. By choosing the right classes, you can start to learn subjects like biology, psychology, and anatomy and physiology even before you graduate. Uh, health and physical education classes can also help students learn about the patients and nutrition, disease, and how the body works. In medicine, much of what you do is patient-facing, which is really just a matter of customer service. Many skills that apply to customer service roles will serve you well in medicine. Some of these skills include attitude, communication, confidence, patience, attentiveness, and adaptability. Uh, good customer service in the medical field permeates through all levels of employees. Best piece of advice I have for uh, students thinking about a career in the healthcare industry or nursing specifically, uh, if I had to go back time, uh, go back in time before uh, my military career, just out of high school, I probably would have became a nurse. Um, the opportunities, skills, and knowledge that come with a nursing degree are second to none. Um, I wish I would have known that a two-year degree would have led to so many opportunities all across the country. Thank you, Mason. Such an inspiring story. Now I'm going to share a fun fact with you. Palm Beach County has 1,400 companies in the aviation, aerospace, and engineering industry that pay an average salary of at least $102,000 per year. One such company is Pratt Whitney. They employ thousands of people in Palm Beach County. And today we have Carrie Ann with us. She's an Associate Director of Engineering Support to Operations and has held various roles in engineering. She's going to share with you what it's like to be an engineer working for one of the most dependable engine companies in the world. 
Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Winquist. For those who don't who aren't familiar with Pratt Whitney, we are a world leader in the design, manufacturing, and service of aircraft engines for both military and commercial. Our military engines power 27 air forces around the world with nearly 11,000 military engines in service. Pratt & Whitney military engines power the F-35, the F-22 Raptor, the F-15 Eagle, the F-16 Falcon, among many more. From a commercial perspective, our engines power more than 25% of the world's passenger aircraft fleet and serve 800 customers in 160 countries. We provide power to hundreds of airlines, from narrow-bodied airplanes to wide-bodied jumbo jets. And our latest engine, the GTF. With its revolutionary gear fan technology, it is the first in a new era of commercial engines. The GTF has transformed aviation by delivering game-changing economic and environmental performance. Built with an architecture that is superior by design with an unmatched runway for growth. That is what we do, but who we are is so much more. We are industry leaders that accelerate and transform aerospace with our innovation that has spanned over 95 year history. What we do matters is we transport people all over the world with our engines and keep our country safe with our military fleet. We strive to ensure a culture of trust, transparency and empowerment. And we believe in doing the right thing every time for our employees, customer and our partners. I work in our West Palm Beach site after spending most of my career in our two Connecticut facilities. My group is responsible for the engineering associated with supporting production lines for assembly as well as production of parts. I joined Pratt as a college co-op and then joined full-time after getting my degree in mechanical engineering from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Over my 23-year career, I've had many roles at Pratt. Starting on the production floor as a process engineer, converting blueprints to written instructions to allow the mechanics to build the engines, then moving to a test role where I was responsible for planning, performing, and analyzing the testing of engine parts. My last role in Connecticut was managing the F-135 repair development group to help ensure we keep engines flying, serviceable, and safe. And most recently, I was offered an opportunity to move to our West Palm Beach to head up our operations, uh, our support to operations department. Although Pratt & Whitney is an engineering company and most of us do have engineering backgrounds, there are many jobs besides engineering at the company. Some of the specific engineering jobs are design, project, structures, process, quality, tooling, instrumentation, assembly, test, and flight test. So basically any engineering role you can think of. But as I stated, we aren't just engineering. Other opportunities include legal, contracts, procurement, human resources, computer science, facilities, data processing, as well as mechanics and millwrights, carpenters, electricians, and plumbers. With a company that has over 39,000 employees, the opportunities are limitless. It's never too early to start thinking about what you can do to ensure a successful career. Lead a team, volunteer, look to your community and see if there are opportunities to intern, even if it's at a small company. When I was in high school, I interned at a small power plant company making copies of prints for engineers and creating manuals. It gave me the opportunity to start seeing life as, a, as an engineer. So no job is too small. And then finally, and probably most important, study hard, work hard, and be a good person. Although the big part, it's not all about your college grades that companies look for. At Pratt, we look for people that are team players, lead by example, look out for each other, and have the ability to inspire. One of our foundations for everything we do is high ethics and integrity. If I can leave you with one last bit of advice, it's never give up. If you choose to follow an engineering path, it will be a lot of work and dedication to your studies, but it is worth it. I have two daughters and I often share this special quote with them that has inspired me. And I will share it with you in the hopes that it will inspire you as well. Go over, go under, go through, but never give up. Thank you for your time and I wish you the best of luck in your futures. Thank you, Carrie. I love that quote. Next up is an industry that not a lot of students know about but they can make a decent amount of money straight out of high school, and that's the trades industry. Rick Seymour is the CEO of Carpenter Security Integrators and a big advocate in the community for the types of opportunities available to you right now. Hi, I'm Rick Seymour. My company is Carpenter Security Integrators, also known as CSI Palm Beach. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about what CSI Palm Beach and our sister company, Carpenter Electric, do to service our community. I'd also like to tell you a little bit about my career path. Last but not least, I'm gonna ask you to consider a career path in the trades. 
Our companies provide electrical and electronic security products and services, lighting systems, generators, electric car charging stations, fire and burglar alarms, access control, video surveillance systems are some of our offerings. We basically provide everything you need to power and protect your home or business. So how did I end up leading an electronic security company? I started my career as a meter reader at Florida Power and Light. FPL paid me to work during the day and paid my tuition and books to go to school at night. I graduated from Palm Beach State College and Nova University with a Bachelor of Science degree in engineering. I am grateful to FPL for paying for my college education while building my resume. After 13 years with FPL, I went on to work for a local entrepreneur who owned a low voltage service business that sold commercial sound systems and music to restaurants, hotels, offices, and retailers. After 10 years, we sold that business. And with the equity I earned, I bought a partnership in CSI Palm Beach. CSI Palm Beach and Carpenter Electric require jobs in all business functions to service our clients. We need sales professionals to grow and generate revenue. We need administrators to purchase materials, invoice, and collect our receivables. And most of all, provide great customer service. The most critical job we need are electricians and low voltage technicians. Without electricians and technicians, we can't service our customers. Right now, I wanna pause and just take time to congratulate all of you on your upcoming graduation from high school. You're now about to make what might be one of the most significant decisions in your lifetime. Where do I go next? Is it college, the military, trade school? I think you should examine and consider all three of these paths to begin your career. If you have a passion to become a professional that requires a college degree, then seek out the colleges that are recognized for the best programs. Make sure you study and prepare to score high on the SAT or other college exams. Win scholarships, apply for grants so that you don't have to take out loans that pile up debt. If you have a passion to serve our country in the military, then talk to all the branches, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, and the new Space Force. Make sure you study and score higher high on the ASVAB military entrance exam. Look for a specialty in the service that provides the training and skills that easily transfer into a career in civilian life. Take advantage of the GI Bill to have military pay for your college education. Lastly, if you desire someday to own your own business and become an entrepreneur of tomorrow, consider learning a trade and becoming a master craftsman. Investing just one year at the trade school at Palm Beach State College will have you earning $30,000 plus upon completion. At the end of four years in the trades, you will have completed apprenticeship and you'll be earning north of $60,000 a year. At the end of this five-year journey, you may find yourself buying your first home. You may find yourself financially ahead of many of your peers who chose college. You will also find out that most trades businesses are owned by those that started as a tradesman. I strongly recommend you check out the career path to industrial and technical programs at Palm Beach State College. We hire most of our entry-level electricians and low-voltage technicians from the programs at Palm Beach State College. Also check out for internships with Junior Achievement and Career Source of Palm Beach County. Again, congrats on your graduation and best of luck with your first career path decision. Whatever your decision, I wish you the best. Feel free to contact me anytime at rickss at csipalmbeach.com. Thank you, Rick. Lots of great opportunities there. Another great industry in Palm Beach County is the life sciences. I bet you didn't know that the world's top two research institutes are located right here. It's where the world's best scientists work on Florida Atlantic University's Jupiter campus. The Scripps Research Institute is one of those facilities. Dr. Cody Jackson recently graduated from a Scripps program, and he's excited to share with you what it's like getting a career in the life sciences. So Scripps Research is a nonprofit biomedical research institute. Um, we expand basic science knowledge in the biomedical sciences and use these fundamental advancements to develop innovations that address the world's health concerns. Some of these discoveries lead to patents and eventually marketed therapeutics. 
Scripps also has training programs for PhD students and postdoctoral scholars led by experienced faculty. Our PhD program has been a US News and World Report top 10 program for the last 19 years. And I actually got to where I am today beginning in high school. Actually, I grew up in Palm Beach County and I went to Spanish River High in the biotechnology magnet program. Uh, after that, I earned my bachelor's and master's at the University of Florida studying microbiology. And then I came back to South Florida to start medical school at FAU. Although I liked medicine, I realized that I really missed doing experiments in the lab. So I decided to pursue not only the MD degree, but also a PhD. And now at Scripps Research, in addition to the graduate program where I earned my PhD, um, obviously Scripps employs many scientific staff at various levels, um, including technicians for which you only need a bachelor's degree, up to full professors which have a PhD or MD and several years of postdoctoral training as well. We also have experts in technology transfer. These people are trained in business or law as well as science, and they help to develop the scientific discoveries into commercially viable products by collaborating and licensing these technologies to industry partners. And then finally, because it's a big organization, there are a number of roles in human resources, facilities maintenance. We have expert mechanics to fix all of the instrumentation and maintain um, all of the building structure that's necessary for us to do our experiments. High school students can take challenging courses in science and math, such as AP or IB classes if they're available, um, participate in science fair and other STEM extracurricular activities, um, and perhaps consider an internship. Scripps offers internships for high school students over the summer, um, and there are, there are other opportunities similar to that um, around the country. There's several skills that are important in the workforce today, uh, especially in science. Uh, in this field, the most important skills, I would say, are critical thinking and collaboration. First of all, uh, when you're working on a project solving a cutting edge problem or developing a totally new technique, there may be nobody else in the whole world who is as much an expert in what you're doing as you are yourself. And it's rare that you run into a problem and you can find step-by-step -step instructions somewhere that apply to exactly what you're doing and give you all the information that you need to solve it. So you have to be able to troubleshoot, design experiments, and come up with creative ideas on your own um, in order to move things forward. Secondly, collaboration is important for those same reasons, because you might realize that the best way to solve a problem is by applying a technique that you're not experienced in or by using specialized equipment that you don't necessarily have access to. So you need to build good relationships with other scientists in order to be able to work together on these kind of things. And finally, one piece of advice for students um, is to always put your best effort into new opportunities, even if you're afraid it won't work out. Don't dismiss the idea of applying to a certain internship or a college or scholarship program just because you don't think you'll be selected. Uh, you might be pleasantly surprised. Thank you, Cody. For those of you interested in the financial services sector, we have an impressive executive here with us today. With more than 23 years of experience in the financial services industry, Eric Strati is the Senior Vice President, Market Executive of Commercial Banking for Wells Fargo, covering the entire South Florida region. With this extensive knowledge in the financial sector, he's excited to share the various career paths that you can take. Wells Fargo is a financial services company supporting individuals like yourselves and businesses throughout the U.S. Our vision is to satisfy our customers' financial needs and help them succeed financially. We're proud to say that today we provide banking services to one in three households in the U.S. and excited about our strong market presence here in Palm Beach County. I got to where I am today because of my work ethic, my drive to be successful, and enjoying every step of the way. I love what I do and can honestly say I've enjoyed every step of the way. I started working in our branches supporting individuals and small businesses. I really enjoyed working with our business customers and learning about what they did and how I could help them grow their business. From that experience, I did decide to pursue a career in commercial banking. When I made the move into our commercial banking group in 2002, I started as a small business banker focused on companies with top line revenues up to $5 million. After doing that for a couple years, I then moved into our business banking group, provided deposit and loans to companies with revenues from $5 million to $50 million. In 2010, I joined our middle market team focused on the largest companies in South Florida. Given my experience with small, medium, and large businesses, I was fortunate a couple of years ago to be promoted to market executive, leading our commercial banking team for Wells Fargo in South Florida. 
I've always worked in jobs that helped me grow and learn my career. I love meeting with all the different businesses and industries we have throughout South Florida and learning what's made them successful and how we can continue to help them in the future. To be successful at anything, you have to be committed to whatever is in front of you and see it through. I would share that there are four things that you can do right now to ensure you have a successful career. One, work hard because there are no shortcuts to success. Two, be positive because that's what helps you overcome whatever obstacles come your way. Three, be a great classmate, teammate, because no one is successful alone. And then four, speak up and communicate clearly. I highly recommend that when you go to college to get to know your career services office, that you can get a jump start on, on when internships are posted. I'll keep it simple and share with you skills that I believe we all have and can do. Be curious, don't just Google it or stroll it on Instagram. Get out into the world and be truly curious about how things really happen. Be resourceful. The answers are not always right in front of us. The more you dig, the more you'll find. And finally, just do it. I'm a big fan of Nike and their motto, just do it. I think that says it all. You own your future, no matter what happens, stay positive and work hard. I wish you all much success in your personal and professional life. Go get it. Thank you, Eric. I couldn't have ended the panel presentation with a better note. Just do it. Thank you to all of our panelists and thank you to every single student watching this presentation. Please make sure to visit the exhibitor hall where dozens of companies are waiting to meet you. We really hope that you leave this event inspired, excited, and hopeful as you begin to claim your future.